aquí en Auto 060 y como les eh, mencioné, estuvimos la semana pasada en Los Ángeles manejando el nuevo Fiat eh, 580e, eh, la versión eléctrica del eh, modelo que regresó acá a Estados Unidos en el año 2011. También presentaron el nuevo Fiat 580 Abarth convertible. Este auto simplemente es la adición, la versión, eh, como decía, descapotable con el techo de lona que se desliza sobre toda la cabina. Y bueno, estuvimos allá en California hablando con Tim Kuniskis. Y qué es lo curioso de esta entrevista es que desde el momento en que hicimos la entrevista al día de hoy las cosas han cambiado. Eh, en, en el grupo Chrysler hubo un cambio, se fue Fred Díaz, que era el presidente de la división Ram y presidente de Chrysler México, una con el que ya tuvimos oportunidad de hablar aquí en este show. Se pasó a Nissan a dirigir todo lo que son ventas y mercadeo de Nissan acá en Estados Unidos, lo cual desencadenó una serie de movimientos de personal dentro del grupo Chrysler y Timothy Kuniskis, con el que vamos a hablar y tenemos la entrevista enseguida, eh, aunque en ese momento estaba todavía con el grupo Fiat, ahora ha pasado a encabezar la marca Dodge. Y en su lugar ha estado, ha sido, ha sido eh, asignado Bruno Catori, que era el presidente de Chrysler en México. Así que un poco como pasa a veces con los equipos de fútbol, una serie de fichajes, eh, de cambios, eh, de personal. Muy interesante porque eh, obviamente Fred Díaz eh, viene de Chrysler en México, ahora pasa a Nissan, donde también está José Muñoz, quien entrevistamos también acá, José Muñoz, que fue el presidente de Nissan en México, así que seguramente cuando estaban ahí tomando alguna, algunos tacos y cervezas en México, José Muñoz de la Nissan y Fred Díaz de la Chrysler en ese momento hablaron de este cambio, y así que bueno, eh, ahora los cambios, y Timothy Kuniskis, que es que vamos a escuchar la entrevista ahora enseguida, ahora ya no está en Dodge, en Chrysler, en, ya no está en Fiat, está en el grupo Dodge, pero vamos a escuchar la entrevista que tuvimos sobre el nuevo Fiat 580 eléctrico. Well, Tim, thank you for having us here in California for uh, the debut of two cars. Uh, that uh, one is a completely new car for Fiat, and the other one a variation of something that is already been pretty successful for you guys. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. So the let's start with the Cinquecento electric car. That's a completely new uh, engineering plan for this car, a completely electric car. And um, from your presentation today, this morning, I. I I got you know, the thing that most impressed me is that you have solved pretty much all the doubts or like restrictions that some people have with electric cars. Thank you. Uh, what we try to do is any new technology, people are apprehensive. There's always going to be the early adopters, but for them to be mainstream, you really have to break down the barriers for the average consumer. And we're not trying to sell the electric technology to the average consumer. What we're trying to do is say that we've developed a Fiat 500 first and foremost. Then after that, we've added to it a state-of-the-art electric powertrain. And we want to tell the consumers that any apprehensions that they may have over range anxiety, purchase price, infrastructure, any of those things, we want to tell them to come in, try the car. They'll see it is actually seamless. It drives just like a regular car, and all of those issues that they may have perceived to be barriers to entry, we've tried to eliminate. Yeah. Actually, some, uh, some, some things change in electric car from a regular car, because, for example, the torsion is already there. It's a lot of fun to, like, go from zero to 60 much faster, actually, I think, than the gas car, right? Uh, people don't realize that until they get in it. It's, it's very powerful, yeah. and it's not just powerful, it's instantaneous torque. Yeah. So as soon as you press on the gas pedal, you have the full power of the car, and it's silent, so it is deceptively fast. Exactly. Uh, the other thing, um, this car has, like, obviously Italian design, beautiful colors, exclusive for the electric, right? And uh, while driving here in, in uh, L.A., a lot of people, that draws a lot of attention. The car gets a ton of attention. Our signature color that we're going to launch with is the orange, the 500E orange color with the white interior. is absolutely stunning, gets attention everywhere it goes. And then, for the alter ego of that, we have a sport model with a black interior, black headlights, black wheels, kind of the, the menacing alter ego of the orange car. Yeah. And um, one of the things that we, you were talking about this morning, about how people get to probably don't consider an electric car as price. But you have come up with some uh, really ingenious and fantastic financing plans, at least for things for California, where the car is going to start selling, right? So we'll launch it first in, you're correct, we'll launch it first in California, and then we'll expand after that. But what we found is 
a lot of people are open to being greener and being more environmentally friendly, but they don't want to pay a premium for it. They're willing to pay a little bit more, but they don't want to pay a lot more. In all the current entries in this segment, the price premium is excessive over a comparably equipped gas car. What we've done is make it so that the price of the car is actually on par with the gas equivalent from either a purchase or a lease perspective. So the choice is yours. If you like Fiat, if you like 500, then you just have to decide, do you want an electric or do you want a gas? It's not going to cost you any more. So a little bit of specifics with that price in California. So it's 90, $999 down and like $199 a month. That's so incredible. It's $199 a month with $999 down, and that is not including any of the state or local incentives. That is only the federal incentive. You can actually get the price lower if you included the state incentives, local incentives, but just to be, you know, fair on a comparison yeah, to the gas car, we didn't include any of that. So yeah, it's actually because, less. Yeah, here in California, there are like federal incentives, state incentives, like city incentives, and then a company like Google, I think Sony also has incentives for people who drive green cars. So that's a, people really have to do some research, right, to, to, to find out that it's really affordable. So you really have to do your research. In, in the entire country, you get a federal tax credit of $7,500. California then matches that with an additional $2,500 rebate directly from the state. So now you're up to $10,000. In certain municipalities within California, you can get up to another $3,000. So now you're at $13,000 off. And now employers in California also offer incentives to their employees that range all the way up to $10,000. So now you're at $23,000 off the car. Now, granted, I yeah, gave you yeah, a no, tiny exactly. little example of a guy who lives... But it's possible. But it is possible. Exactly. So um, uh, the other car that we're driving here today, the Abarth Convertible. Uh, that the Abarth we drove last year in, in Vegas, that was a lot of fun, but this is even more fun because you can really take the top off and I just really enjoy, for example, today here in California, See, beautiful weather, fast car and all that. People love the Abarth. I mean, they love it for the, the raw driving characteristics of the car and now we made it even better. If you love the Abarth, now you can put the top down, hear that exhaust note like it's in the seat next to you, turn up the Beats audio and just have a blast. Yeah, and we watched the commercial during the Super Bowl, right? You had the, the commercial for the Abarth? So we had the first of our hatchback convert, uh, spot in the Super Bowl last year, the uh, seduction yeah. spot, and now we just launched a spot that we call Topless with the same actress for the Abar Cabo. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't wait to see the ads for the electric car. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because you guys have done as, as good as a job that you have done with the cars, you have done a great job to, with the conversion. They're fantastic. Thank you. We, we have some really fun spots planned for the electric car right now. Yeah. So um, just con concluding everything, Fiat came to the U.S., came back to the U.S., what, a couple of years ago, and, like, you're moving really fast with a lot of success already. So we, we've had a very good 2012. We're very happy with it. We actually, 2012 was our first full year in the country. We came in at 11, but it wasn't a full year. 2012, we had a great year, uh, 44,000 units just in the U.S. Yeah, that's great. Well, congratulations again. Uh, we're going to keep enjoying driving the cars, and I uh, hope to see you soon again somewhere. Thank, here thank in you. Here. Pues ahí está la entrevista con Tim Kuniskis, que ya no está en la Fiat, pasó, como decíamos, al grupo Dodge. Y hablando del Fiat eléctrico, eh, Fiat 500 eléctrico, interesante esta semana también, después de esa presentación, Sergio Marchioni, que es el presidente y el CEO de todo el grupo Chrysler, confesó que esta gran oferta que está para el Fiat eléctrico en California, donde básicamente se puede conseguir con eh, un down payment de unos mil dólares y 199 dólares en un lease de tres años, le representará al grupo Chrysler la pérdida de 10 mil dólares por cada unidad. Pero bueno, ¿qué pasa? Que es un mercado limitado, están tratando de empujar esta tecnología y es en realidad casi un subsidio que está haciendo la compañía, el grupo Chrysler, para lanzar la tecnología eléctrica en California, como decíamos, por, eh, para empezar. Después vamos a ver cómo va. Es un gran auto, lo manejamos durante tres y cuatro horas y tuvo mucho, eh, mucha eh, resistencia, mucha independencia. Así que ha sido el reporte de esta semana. Esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota. Los espero en la próxima edición de Auto 060. <risa> Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. No, no, Harris, the solution.